Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we have The Box by Fashion Stuff. Um, this subscription is, well I pay $19.99 a month, but I believe it went up to $24.99 if I'm correct. And I'll link the information down below if you're interested. I'm sorry, I'm kind of like off today. I wanted to go ahead and record this because, um, you know, I love this box. I love getting this box, and so I figure if I love it, other people must love it. You guys probably want to see what's in it. Um, and then last month, it didn't, I actually didn't get last month's box until this month because they had a hold up, which is okay. You know, they let everyone know, so I didn't mind too much. Um, but I have a sick kitty. She's old. She's like 18 years old. She's laying on the couch right now, but she's, I don't think she's going to be with us much longer. So it's kind of put me in a depressed mood, which anyone else that I, you know, I'm sure there's other people out there that are like animal lovers. I've had her for a long time. Um, I had gotten her when she was a kitten, and then my sister-in-law and brother-in-law actually had her um, for years and years and years. And then something happened, they moved, and I was in a position to take her back, so I took her back. They took her because, one, they had mice. And I remember my sister called me up one day, and she's like, can I have your cats? We've got mice, we can't get rid of them. And at first I was like, are you crazy? You can't have my cats. <laughs> but at the time I was working so much and my husband was working so much. It, it felt like I was gone all day. I felt guilty and she was home. And so I was like, okay, I'll still see them all the time. So she went ahead and took them and they're still like, I could see them and cuddle them and you know, but they're like my babies and they're their babies too. Um, and then years, years and years ago, Gosh, I'm trying to think of how long that was. It's at least six or seven years ago. I have to ask my brother-in-law. Um, they had to move and they couldn't take her with them and so I took her back and then she was again my baby. So I'm kind of bummed, you know. But she's had a very happy life. She greets everybody. I call her the shop cat because she doesn't generally like to be inside. Although recently, all of a sudden, she wants to be inside. I mean, you bring her in, and she cries. She wants out. And l more lately, I thought she's losing her mind a little because she meows in, and then she meows to get out, and then she meows, like, over and over, and she forgets she eats. And then, um, so I kind of had a feeling that this was coming because she was acting different. But she greets everyone. Like, she's friends with the mailman, the UPS man. They all stop. You know, the like, the mailman will drop packages off, and... Um, he'll knock on the door and I'll open the door. He'll be like, oh, hi. And he sits there and pets her for like five minutes, which I think is great. She loves everyone. Everyone loves her. Um, she's a sweetheart, but definitely a love. <laughs> but, you know, she's like 18 years old, so I, I think we were blessed to have her that long. And, I mean, she's not gone yet, but it just, you know how sometimes you just know something's coming. Even I think my husband's a little sad, and he's not a cat person at all like at all but um so i'm sorry to put a damper on this video but it kind of has me like in a weird mood but this is a happy thing right here so i thought you know what i'm gonna do a video i'm gonna open my box because it i got it yesterday and it's sitting here looking at me and um yeah telling me to open it <laughs> so and it always makes me happy so if all else fails and you feel depressed or down, open a box. The box. Okay. So there's always a little warning on the inside of this box that says, oh, and you know what? So they've had, I should have checked this before. Um, I've got my laptop right here. They have, um, they, they usually have like a wait list for this box. But I know they opened it recently, so I'm going to check really quick and see if it's open because I forgot to check. Um, and they just came out with a men's box, and I've been very tempted, but my husband is not one to... It's my son in the background making cereal, if you can hear the falling of the cereal into the bowl. Um, my, hu my husband's not one to use, like, specialty products, anything, you know. He'll, he'll get his body's the same, like, zit cream, face wash... Um, body soap, just plain body soap, or from he'll get it from the um, like place he gets his hair cut, and that's about it. When he had a beard, uh, which I miss quite a bit, he would get I like I got him a beard scrub and stuff like that, and he'd use that extra stuff. But now that he doesn't have it, he just doesn't. 
you know, he has oily skin. I tried to tell him to get a moisturize still, but, you know, we haven't gotten that far. So, shaving cream, he'll use shaving cream, face wash, but <laughs> that's about it. So, I don't think, oh, this, and this, the men's box looks really good. It has, like, all kinds of goodies in it. Let me see if I can show you. You probably can't. So, <laughs> you can see, it, this is the men's box. So I'm really tempted and I thought, oh, I could get it for a couple months and then um, maybe, and it looks like it's, let's see, $24 also, I think. It doesn't say, well, I'm sure if I clicked on it, it would say, but um, I could get it for, you know, get it, review it, and then maybe give it to like my brother-in-laws, but I don't know. Oh, okay, so right now it says the box is still $19.99 a month. Maybe it's the first of the year. I remember seeing that it was going to be um, up to $24.99, but you could lock in your price. Um, it says you get five to seven full-size products valued from 80 to 150, cancel at any time. There's no obligation. Let's see, subscribe. Let's see, let's see. Okay, right now it looks like there's a wait list. They, they seem to open the wait list every month though. Um, and you can like follow their Instagram and they'll give you little hints. So they'll say, okay, we're gonna open it on this date or coming soon, you know send you they also send emails that's how i have found out when i first got it so you can join the wait list um you know if you're interested if you want to get this box okay the company is pretty cool though so far i like it um anyways so in the warning label on the box it says the contents of this box may cause extreme excitement you have scored 80 to 150 dollars worth of products you will enjoy plus love so i like the warning so yeah i told you it'll make you happy um they also do a um, a, uh, well, I'll just read it. <laughs> I can't, I, my words are gone. Okay, so with every box purchase, you're helping the 1736 Family Crisis Center by assisting those in need in the form of monthly makeup, beauty, and self-care goodies with the intention to enhance self-confidence and self-image. I love this. Um, 1736 Family Crisis Center is a nonprofit organization based in Los Angeles with the mission to help people through crisis, including domestic violence and human trafficking. We're happy to announce this partnership and support a cause you love as well as offering amazing products you love to use. Um, I have family that lives down in LA and I have um, I do have a family member down there that is in law enforcement, and I know that human trafficking is like a massive thing. It's so, it's so sad. It like it scares me even where I live in Northern California, just because I, it's everywhere, and it's uh, it just scares the crap out of me with my kids, or even myself. I'm always been very cautious with things. Okay, so I like that. Um, let's see. They have a card that has everything on it. New year, new you, 2020, 20% off. Use the code new new um, at fashionstyle.com. N-E-W, N-E-W. And I also have a code, I think it's 20% also on Fashion Stuff. It's I think it's Michelle S. I'll link it below. I can never remember. I've never tried it either, but they did send me an email the same that I have the code, so it should be there. Okay. So, one thing I like about this box is you never know what you're going to get. Like, I've gotten some products and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> but I like that. I like, instead of getting the same thing, you know, and there's certain subscription boxes that I feel like that are similar price, let's say, and I feel like sometimes you get the same products, you know, um, which some products I love, so I'm happy about it, but I like getting things that are different, something I can't get in another box and something that maybe I haven't seen before or brands I don't know about that much or want to try out. Um, not that I'm complaining, you know, I'm not at all. I, I've i seen some videos lately, a few videos and people complaining about um, different things in boxes like, what was it? It was like a, let's say like a $25 box, okay? You probably can guess there's only, a, there's a couple to choose from, 20 to 25 bucks, let's say. And they're complaining because they got some um, lip balms and they still got like way over the value of the box and to me I'm like I don't get lip balms and everything you know so I don't mind getting a lip balm or a couple lip balms I don't know it just it kind of rubbed me the wrong way I guess because it's like 
I try to look at it as I spent 20 bucks or $25 or whatever it was I spent. So if I get over that value, I'm happy. If I get double that value, I'm thrilled, you know? And a lot of those boxes, you get way more than double. So if there's a product in there that's worth like four or five bucks, seven bucks, you know, whatever, I'm not gonna complain. I don't, I don't know. That's just me. Or if there's like one or two products that maybe aren't, they're like not bad products, but maybe aren't something I'll use, I'm still not gonna complain because still the value of the products I did receive are way over the value of the box. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like, I don't know. That's how I try to look at it. I think people get really disappointed really easily and expect like so much more, you know. But then again, some of these companies are saying you're going to get this, you're going to get this. And then, so I don't know, maybe there's something with that. But I just, I look at it a little different. Okay, so the first thing I have here is a little bath bomb. Ooh, CBD pain reliever bath bomb. Fresh Bombs Eucalyptus Peppermint. See, I haven't gotten anything like this. I haven't gotten a bath bomb in another makeup subscription. I have gotten bath bombs in, in other, or something like it, another subscription, but not in like a makeup one. Um, I like that it has a CBD in it. I don't care for baths that much. Um, I don't mind, I don't, I just don't take baths, but I like the idea of this. Um, so this retails for $12. It says, wash away the stress of the day in pools of refreshing eucalyptus and mint. This says, oh yeah, <laughs> never mind. This says eucalyptus and peppermint. <laughs> um, the graceful combination of Epsom salt and coconut oil dances away aches and dry skin. <laughs> Meanwhile, wintergreen and peppermint oil quiet your stress. Use one bath bomb in a tub of warm water to soothe your body's stresses. That actually sounds really nice. I bet I could use this in like a foot bath instead. Like if you're like really sore, you know, your feet are hurting or whatever. I bet that would be really nice too. I really want to use this even though I don't really care for baths, but I'm very tempted because I'm curious. I bet that feels good. CBD is supposed to be great. I've never tried any of the, like the creams, the CBD creams, um, but I really wanted to try them to see if they help with like back pain and stuff. Okay, next thing we have is by Rosy Cheeks Face Facial Scrub. And this is what it looks like. Whoops. Well, we're not gonna focus very well, but I guarantee you it says rosy cheeks and all it says is facial scrub. Ooh, smells good. It smells like roses, which I like. Let's see. Ooh, it kind of looks like a, it's soft. It kind of, excuse my nails, they're very bad. But it kind of looks like a, um, look, it's like a lotion kind of. I thought it was gonna be like a scrub scrub. This is like a super soft. Mm. So good, I love the rose smell. It's a very soft scrub. So this says, oh, this is from Naturally Vain. <laughs> it's funny. Rosy Cheeks Facial Scrub retails for $12. It says this exfoliating facial cleanser with rose petals gently exfoliates and eliminates dead skin cells. The rose hip seed oil and ylang ylang essential oils are known for their anti-aging properties, which I've heard ylang ylang supposed to be really good for your skin, I believe. I think I've heard that. Um, this beautiful creamy texture leaves skin soft and clear and more radiant than ever. How to use, apply a small amount to the face and gently wash, remove with water and dry. I like that it has a little rose, uh, it says it has rose, um, didn't it say? Uh, rose petals, yeah. I had bought this coffee. I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but sometimes, you know. Um, I was, one day I picked up my son early from school and we had some time, and so we found this new coffee shop that I was like, it used to be a Starbucks, and I know, don't kill me. I'm not the biggest Starbucks fan, um, but I'm not a huge coffee fan. That's part of it. Like, I love Dutch Bros, though. Dutch Bros is good, but they have other stuff but coffee. Anyways, um, Starbucks wasn't there, and it was like a tea and coffee house. It was really cute. And so, and they would like steep the tea and they could like uh, French press the coffee. Is that what it's called? Anyways, right there, they had like a whole setup. Anyway, so I ordered this rose something uh, latte. It was so good. And they, they did like a pretty little heart design on the top of it. And they put rose pet like um, little rose petals like sprinkled it on. It was so cute. It was really pretty. It tasted really good too. I'm just thought I'd share. <laughs> okay, 
Next thing we have here is the Teamy Soothe Tea, wait, Soothe Tea Infused Oil Lavender Sage. This is, I think, the third thing we've gotten from this brand from here. I think they've got a mask, and I can't remember the other thing, but that Teamy brand. Um, different stuff. Okay, so this says it's a Soothe face, Facial Oil. Retails for $40. Um, it's infused with lavender, sage, and blue tansy oil to provide deep, calming sensation to the skin. Okay, I received, I think it was in Allure, this blue tansy oil. I loved it. It was like a small little thing. Oh gosh, I think, oh, it was a cure was the brand, which is a pretty inexpensive brand. I love that oil. It was so good. I don't know what it was. I just loved it. Um, it was really good. So I'm curious about this, although I'm not big on lavender personally, so it depends on how strong it is. Um, let's see. Oils are a pure form of moisture or moisturizer that seemi, seem, seamless, seamlessly, that seamlessly absorbs into the deeper layers of your skin, leaving it soft, nourished, and glowing. Perfect for all skin types made with 100% pure plant extracts and natural mineral ingredients. You will not find any harmful fillers, preservatives, or chemicals added. Teamy uniquely formulated this gorgeous blue potion oil to aid in protect, protecting and rejuvenating your skin. Use the dropper to apply three to four drops in your palm of your hand or directly onto your skin. Rub the oil together to warm it up and apply to your skin in circular motions. Use the oil in the morning before you put on makeup or before bed. The oil absorbs into the skin and leave it protected all day long. I usually use my oil at night. I'm kind of noticing like um, a theme here. Like this has essential oils. This has essential oils and rose hip oil. The CBD balm, eucalyptus and peppermint. I don't know if it's actual oils. Did it say oils? Probably. Oh, sorry, my eye. It's like right under my eyes itching. Um, yeah, this has essential oils. So I feel like they've got kind of a theme. I don't know if that's the intention, but I kind of like it. Because essential oils, I'm telling you, when I get a headache and nothing else will get rid of it, I use peppermint oil. And I, yeah. Like, I mean, it doesn't help for migraines, but I'll put peppermint oil like back here and sometimes I'll rub it on, like especially if it's like a tension headache on the back of my neck really good. And then I'll rub it into my temples and it works amazing. Okay, I love this bottle. It looks like, like an experiment or something. <laughs> so that's cool, it's glass. Oh, it's got stuff in it. It's got, oh, I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see that? Oh yeah, there we go. It's got little seeds and things. <laughs> I can get it open. Okay. Yeah, I smell the lavender. I don't like lavender. But I really want to try this oil. Ooh, and it's got like a nice long, doesn't it feel like a science experiment? Like, like it's like a beaker and you're mixing things up. <laughs> I don't know. So here's the oil. I could probably handle this. I mean, it's not my favorite. I have one that's like lemon though. So maybe if I mix a little of this with the lemon. Oh, I like the feel though. Um, maybe it'll like make the smell go away or make it not so strong. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not like there's some stuff that's lavender and I smell it and I'm like, mm -mm. I'm telling my skin feels really soft though, I have to say. I really like this. That is so cute. Uh, it's gonna go out on my, I like pretty packaging. It's gonna go like on my counter. Okay, what's next? See, I told you this box puts me in a better mood. Crescent Moon. I actually think I saw a spoiler for this. I try not to, so, okay, uh, Fashion Stud, I follow their Instagram and they will put up pictures, but they always put like funny little, um, is it a meme or, no, it's just a saying. I don't think that's considered a meme. I'm old, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody can enlighten me. It's just like a little saying, like um, my favorite day of the week is uh, the day I get my boxes in the mail or my subscription box day or, I don't know, like funny, cute little things like that, I like it. Um, but sometimes they'll put up pictures of product 
So I never read what they say. I just swipe swipe by, you know, because um, I get like I get a notification every time I get every time they post something. And so like I'll see a picture and then I'll just like. So I think I did see this. I usually forget because I I'm not on social media a ton. I know, but um, I think I did see that. I try, but see, I like that they don't go and put a video. I it drives me crazy that BoxyCharm does that. BoxyCharm will do a video, and I see them over and over and over and over and over about what the products are for the month, and it drives me crazy because I don't want to know. Um, I I like how like Ipsy will send an email saying, okay, here's a sneak peek. Do you want to see? But you don't have to. You know, even if you click on your the Ipsy website, it um, like you can click tracking, but down below will be the products, but you don't see the products unless you scroll up. So I try not to scroll up. But I don't like when the companies like force you to see the products, which I know is like a tactic because they're trying to get more people in. They're trying to like people that don't have the subscription. They're trying to say, hey, look at this. This is uh, what we have this month. That's great. Join. But I don't know. I don't like to, I don't like to know. <laughs> I don't watch any videos, especially like the box. I stay completely away from any videos until after I open it. Um, Boxy Charm, Ipsy, any of those. I'll watch Ipsy Glam Bag because everyone gets different things in that, but pretty much anything else, I won't watch any. So, okay. <laughs> Next product we have here is Crescent Moon. It says four color eyeshadows by Cas Cosmetics, C A S. So this says this eyeshadow quad is $45. Wow. That seems a little ridiculous to me, just to be honest for four eyeshadows, 45 bucks. Um, it says Crescent Moon's palette, rich duochrome shades, heavily pigmented diamond and shimmer shades. Shades included are Calypso, New Moon, Zenith, and Ophelia. I wonder, no, I was gonna say, it'd be really cool if they had essential oils in here, like the other, other things, but, um, ooh, but that blue is everything. What? Oh, my, where'd my color go? Did it fall? It did. It just fell right out of the pan. Well, so these are three of the colors. The fir fourth one is on the ground because I guess as soon as I tipped it, it fell on the ground. Let's see. I think it's gonna crumble. Oh yeah. It's like crumbled in my hand. Wow. That, I mean, that's not a good sign. <laughs> like at all, right? That, you know, you can't, I kind of packed it back in there, but I couldn't even pick it up. And you saw, I didn't, I did not drop it. <laughs> so, um, well, that's a bummer. The other colors are pretty. Um, luckily, that's probably the shade I will use the least, but it's blue, oh my gosh. Let me show you these colors. Let me see if I can get, um, a little of this one. This is like, gosh, it's so weird. I've never had a shade just do that, just like fall out like that. I don't, that's weird. But it wasn't even, it like crumbled out. Okay, so I've got oils, but that's okay. This is Calypso. Oh my gosh, look at that color. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. It's like a duochrome, it's like gray, silver, blue. I love that blue. Okay, this next one is New Moon. That's pretty too. Those will look pretty together. And this one is Zenith. That is really pretty too. And then this is the one that fell, and this is called Ophelia. See, it's this one is like super duper soft. I don't know if I should even, I mean, I'm kind of disappointed that it did that. I don't know if I should like contact the company or if I should just say, oh, forget it. Um, but that's a bummer. I probably should contact because honestly, I haven't really had any dealings with um, like their customer service. So I don't, I wonder how they are with, um, gosh, look at those colors. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I need something, something on me right now. But I don't know how, um, see, I really like my eyes today though. I'm gonna put this one, there's a little left that I put back in here. 
I, oh, you know whose customer service is amazing, by the way, is um, Tati Beauty. I bought the Tati Beauty palette, and one of two, one of the colors was wrong. Like, it was doubled up. One of them was missing, and there was another one in its place. And so I sent them a picture and emailed them and said, hey, this is what happened. Um, what should I do? And they just said, okay, we'll have another one sent out to you. And I was like, okay, do you want me to send it back or... And they never said anything, so I gave the one with the double to my sister because it was still perfectly good. I just watched it, and they just sent me right, like I mean, like that. Nothing else. I didn't have to send it back anything. So that's that color. This is what it was before. I mean, it's kind of hard to say, but gosh, that is a pretty color. See, I was thinking I probably wouldn't use it that much, but as I'm, like, playing with it, I kind of like it. It's, like, very pretty and sparkly. Even though I'm not, well, I like sparkly. I don't like um, loose glitters too much. I'm making a mess. Ooh, that's pretty. Uh, yeah, maybe I should reach out. I don't know. I just don't like to complain about things. Um, I mean, I'll complain to you guys, but no. I don't like to complain about stuff. Especially if I know it's a color that I don't think I'll use all the time, but I'm kind of really liking it. Okay, I can't wait to put this on my eyes. That blue is everything. I'm gonna have fun with that. I don't know what it is with blues. Me and blues, it's just like my favorite. This video is getting ridiculously long. <laughs> okay, last thing. Oh, not the last thing. There's two things in here. So we have a sheet mask, which I always love, from 1520 is the name of the company. It's a hydrating, good vibes only, hyaluronic acid, Collagen, Glacier, and Seawater. Is that what it says? Yeah, Seawater Mask. And this retails for $7. It says, uh, 1520 is all about an effective and reliable skincare and beauty regimen that seamlessly fits into your routine. They're dedicated to providing customers with high quality products and unparalleled results. Their customers have fallen in love with their glow and radiance thanks to 1520. Enjoy this face sheet mask from their essentials routine, which include all natural dried biocellulose. Yeah. Um, it's the softest material and four times stronger than plant cellulose. Oh, okay. It retains 200 times its dry weight in water, staying moist throughout the entire process. See, it feels dry. Like, you know how sometimes you feel a lot of serums? This doesn't feel like there's any serum in here. I mean, I'm sure there is. No, you can kind of hear it, but it, it feels a, a little drier, so I'm, I'm interested. Um, oh, it says this is step three. So they must have different steps. Good vibes only. Hashtag good vibes only. Step three. Cleanse and dry face. Smooth the mask over face. Sit back. Relax. Um, I'm wondering if maybe like they have like a face wash and moisturizer or serum and stuff. I'll have to check out that company. I've never heard of them. Oh, sorry guys. Okay. And the last thing in here. Oh, is another palette. By Cara Beauty. Cara Beauty. Cara Beauty. I don't know why, but every time I try to say beauty, I say booty. Which, by the way, I received... Was that la Was that in this... Okay, now I gotta see. Was it this subscription that I received that, like, naked bud, bum, whatever, um... It was like a scrub. Was that here? Um, uh, yeah. The CBD sugar scrub, Bud Naked, that's what it was. Bud Naked. It was like a scrub that we got last month. I just used that today. I know, I'm like behind, but I just used that today, and um, it's awesome. It was really good. It was a good, I don't know why it made me think of that, but I had to throw that out there. I need like, where's my knife? Okay. So I'm guessing this is like a highlighting palette, which... I don't really need, I just got one from Jeffree Star and I received one in my other box. If you haven't watched that video yet, that should be up before this. Yeah. I think I have a lot of extra videos. I need to start doing some more double ups because I have 
I like keep pushing videos out that I pre-recorded because I'm like, oh, I got, you know, my box charm. I got the box. Like, I have some of my favorites that I want to like put in right away. I almost dropped this. So Cara Beauty Glow Getter Highlighter Palette. Let's packaging. And, ooh, pretty. This is what she looks like. Oh, I'm so con I don't know if I should swatch this or not. I don't think I'm going to. I like it. It's pretty. But I don't think I'll use some of these. And like I said, I just received... I have a couple new um, highlighters. Highlighter palettes recently. And so I'm going to hold off on using this. I'll save it for someone else. Um... Did I already read this? Okay, this retails for $15, which is actually is pretty good. You get six highlighters. Uh, it says, are you a go-getter for, for a better glow? These six shades will have you sh uh, shining from across the room. These highlighters are meant to serve looks. These shades are precisely picked. You can start from any shade and add on add onto it from your super glow. You glow girl. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I like that they had like a blush like if you I'm not big on like highlighter toppers like um, like I like my blush like my you know just blush but I know some people do like a blush topper I should try it I haven't done it a lot but then there's a shade that would be more of like a contour shade but it's sparkly so I don't know if it'd look good on me so yeah I'm gonna hold on to that and wait the more I'm looking at these colors I can't believe how like pigmented and they didn't stay on my hands too bad. I mean, I wiped my fingers off, but it, they, um, a lot of it came off. So the pigment is amazing. It's really good. Um, I don't know if it's worth $45 still, but it's still good. Okay, that is my entire box. Oh, it doesn't say the retail value. It usually has that. Let me, let me total this up, hold on. Okay, the total retail for this box was $131. So that's pretty good. And it seems like, what if, and as they said, between 80 and 150, I think last month was like 130 something, 136. Um, so they're pretty consistent. I mean, but even if it was $80, that's still, you know, four times what I spent on the box. So I'm fine with that. So again, we got the oil, which I'm super excited about so cute even if I'd like never used it I like the bottle <laughs> Look really pretty displayed um, we've got the uh, face scrub we got the CBD bath balm we have the crescent moon palette that's you know one eyeshadow is broken but like I said I still had a good value for everything we got the glow palette the highlight palette and we've got the mask which I'll probably use tomorrow should, maybe I'll use it tonight. No, sometimes some of them I like to use in the morning and some of them I like to use in the evening. I just always forget. I'll go wash my face and go to lay in bed and I have a hard time sleeping so I'll go and watch some like an episode of something on Netflix um, before I go to sleep. So I, what I started doing is my husband's in bed, my, my little one's sleeping, my kids are all in their rooms, you know, ready to go to bed and I'll just put a face mask on and lay there and watch <laughs> watch my show um anyways i know you guys were dying to know that okay this video has gone on way too long but i'm glad i did it i feel um i feel better i mean you know considering but thank you guys so much for being there for me letting me talk and listening i mean i guess i think you're listening you know for all i know you could just be like nope click <laughs> No, but really, I you guys are awesome. I adore you guys. You guys are so sweet. Um, I know I'm not that great about getting back on um, on my um, comments, commenting back, but I try to look at everything, and I'll see some. I don't see all of them, but I do see a, a large amount, and I'll I'll see them, and I'll try to you know even like if I'm in the middle of something, I'll try to read through it really quick. And I'll be like, oh, that's so sweet because I get notifications. So I see what you guys say, um, the majority of it. I just, it's hard for me to stop, sit down with my little one, 
Um, I'm still trying to like balance everything. So, but just know that I do see them and I do appreciate them. And I'm sorry if it takes me a little bit to get back to you guys, but I try to get back to everyone. Some of them it's weird because a lot of them I get notifications, but then it, I'll go back and go on the website and like start looking through all the comments so I can leave, um, you know, talk to you guys back and I'll be like, Oh, I never saw this. That's weird. You know? So some of them, I don't know. I guess that's YouTube, but all right, guys, thanks again. Have a beautiful day. I'm sorry. This video was so long, but you guys are awesome. So thank you.